episode two of Westworld. It's titled Chestnut. Uh, the first episode, amazing. Hope it keeps going. Uh, predictions? I have no predictions. I don't think you can make many predictions on this show. So, let's check it out. Starting off different for Oh, this guy. Good actor. This is cool, so we're gonna see how it... We're seeing what it's like outside of Westworld, the real world. The future. What is this for exactly? To make sure we don't give you anything more than you can handle. I thought that you couldn't get hurt here. Only the right amount. Only the right amount. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This so is awesome. Does this work? Is there a orientation? No orientation. No guidebook. Figuring out how it works is half the fun. All you do is make choices. I wonder if she, here, is she a robot? Everything is bespoke and is exactly your size. Are those real? Real enough. But you can't kill anyone you're not supposed to. And how does that work? Anything you like. All our hosts are here for you. Myself included. She's a host, a robot. Stay here a while if you like. Yeah, she's gonna remember. Okay, that was from the big massacre of the last episode. One final touch. Which would you prefer? Good guy or bad guy? Black or white? Yeah, he's a white hat. He's definitely a white hat. God, I love how they're showing this. How you enter Westworld. Oh, it's straight into the train. <laughs> And how's the train moving? Ah, who cares? Uh, of course, his friend's a black hat. Well, it's gonna be an awful tight fit for all of them. Pretty tough when you know you can't get hurt. When these, when the hosts lose their shit and can fight back, he's gonna be such a weakling. I want to use another one, but... Oh shit, he's a great actor. Uh, Boondock Saints, tons of stuff. What's the best thing you can muster, Lars? Boondock Saints 2, sir. What is this? Are you know exactly what it is. It's the main... The deepest level of this game. You gonna help me find the entrance? It's the maze, the deepest part of the level, or the deepest level. Do you know what it said? <sighs> oh, this is a past life she, she had, and she's remembering it. Not a past life, but you know what I mean. Up. All right, man. One of her previous time. programs or previous storylines. This is the new world. Yes, of course. And you haven't told anyone about our little talks. Is he part of it? She told me not to. Step into analysis, please. He's, it's him. How many interactions have you participated in since we last talked? Okay, so he's the bad guy? He's the one switching them all. You find yourself in a bad dream. Close your eyes. Count backwards from three. Wake yourself right up. Nice and warm. 
a safe in your bed. Before you can get fucked right back to sleep by one of these assholes with their miniature fingers. So something's gonna happen where she's gonna close her eyes and go back to three. This guy's a Hemsworth brother. Oh God, how many Hemsworth brothers are actors? Fuck. I have in my possession. He's gonna shoot him. Or stab him in the head. But I have somebody, somebody real waiting for me at home. I hope they don't kill off this guy because he's the one good guy so far in the show. Real love. It's always worth waiting for. Send him into Westworld and I hope he's the first to go. I hope the robots get him first. It's not exactly a savage horde with 20 savages, is it? Why is he putting out the bullets? He's gonna threaten the guy's family. You know why this beats the real world owners? And I guess we're gonna have to find where John get memory. Well, I can't wait till he shoots, tries to shoot one of them, and they can actually fight back. <laughs> Just see the fear in his eyes. Like I said, you get to decide these two. Chances, sweetheart. Follow the blood arroyo to the place where the snake lays its eggs. You have it now. Whatever you want. Or you go home. Leave us alone. <laughs> she. No. You don't understand, Lawrence. This time, I'm never going back. Gonna wake up. I wonder we have a fucking fly with me. She's gonna wake up. I'm the king of hygiene. Oh, fuck. God, she must just be fucking losing it. Like just freaking out. To see this? You think you're living a western? Real gun. Mr. Lowe. Okay. Got to remember that name, Mr. Lowe. We promised him a new storyline. They should have one. Something I've been working on for some time. Something quite original. There it is. Episode 2 done. I'm loving this show. It's just a mind F. It's, it messes with your mind. But it makes you think. And I love a show that makes you think. It just doesn't spoon feed you the story. You actually have to think. So I love it. I can't get enough of this show. Uh, is it my favorite show? No? Is it in my top 5 right now? Top My top 5 that I watch? Yeah. Uh, yeah, love it. But, uh, I think it's Lo, who's the programmer, who sort of is having the relationship with the woman. Gotta, gotta figure out all their names. But I think he's the one who's sort of doing something with the robots. He's reprogramming them or giving them, or self-awareness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but wow. And I hope the guy with the white hat... I hope he, he does not die, because so far we need a good guy. I guess we have a guy who plays Teddy, who's always dying. 
who was Cyclops. God, I can't remember his name right now. He's a good guy, but he's a robot. We need a good human being. So far, White Hat. I'll figure out his name eventually. But yeah, loving it. Awesome show. Awesome show. Take care, guys.